Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are. I'm sorry, what? Wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead. That's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What are you. A majority of Palestinians end up dead? How dare you say something like that? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back given to the new video. Today, come to check it out. Hamas sympathizers starts yelling at fats. Okay, this is by Charlie Cook. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right into it. So who ran Gaza up until 2005? No, Israel did. Israel used to occupy the Gaza Strip. 10,000 Jews left Gaza. The IDF totally withdrew. Why did Israel do that? To pursue peace. Because they, they were promised a peace deal if they got out of Gaza. Then Hamas took over as mayor of Gaza, and it's now a hot tub for terrorists, where there are thousands of rockets every single month. Where was the peace that happened after they withdrew? Exactly. Israel signed a peace accord, and the PA violated it. So, so this is the way peace... Occupying territory. They weren't occupying. They got out. But you just said Israel occupied that territory Correct. in Gaza until they got out. So that's not... No, no, but they got out on a condition of peace. So they said, we will get our 10,000 Jews out of Gaza. So 10,000 Jews used to live in Gaza. Well, so, so who, who is Gaza's territory? Who's is that? Egypt. It's been, it's been Egypt for 2,000 years, okay? So, how, so since you're, you understand this, maybe, um, how did Israel win back that territory? Right, so in the 1967 war, they pushed back Egypt all the way to their borders, and so they, they gave up the Sinai Desert in pursuit of peace with Egypt. That worked. So then they kept the occupation of Gaza, which there's factories and rolling hills and vineyards, a lot of wealth there. There's two million people that live in Gaza, more or less. 10,000 Jews lived on the eastern skirt of Gaza. So in pursuit of peace, in the 2005 peace talks, Israel said, you know what? We want peace, and as a condition, we'll get out. If you guys have real peace with us, stop launching rockets, stop building terror tunnels, stop killing our children, all these sorts of things. Are you pro Hezbollah or? Can I ask a question? Sure, happy to. What formal education do you have? Plenty. I mean, formal education. If, if you're going to argue, if you're going to argue from authority, that's a logical fallacy. Tell me why I'm wrong. Don't tell me how many degrees you have. Thank you. I'm actually, I would, I would argue I'm more informed because I didn't go to college and I've traveled the world, and I've met with world leaders, and I've read many books. So tell me, how am I oppressive? Can you name one example of how I'm oppressive? I can name a lot of examples. Can you name one? Name one example of how I'm oppressive, because you just said it. Well, no, they just don't have facts. Can you tell me one time that I've been wrong about anything I've said? Tell me a time that Israel has launched an offensive war. You, they didn't. They're, they're attacking Hezbollah. That was, it's within their borders. It was to Lebanon. They don't just attack Hezbollah. Hezbollah occupies southern Lebanon, which is Iranian-funded, is it not? Mm. I had no idea. Thank you for informing me. Anytime. Me. Maybe so if you didn't go to college, you would learn more. You're so right. You're so right. Here's, here's the thing. But, like, IDF is a terrorist organization. How is... I, the IDF is a terrorist organ. Yeah, no, according to a lot of people. Wait, hold on a second. The ID. Not me, but like a lot of countries around. Why is it that they haven't built a new school or hospital in the last five years? Hundreds of millions of dollars pour into Gaza. It's because Hamas runs Gaza right now, and they're a terrorist organization. So Israel got out of Gaza in 2005 in the pursuit of peace. 10,000 Jews were actually forced out of their homes in the pursuit of peace. True. Gaza got more dangerous. It became a hot tub for terrorists. You know where Hamas's money is being spent? On terror tunnels and rockets being shot towards Tel Aviv. Where were those two rockets shot two weeks ago out of? They were shot out of Gaza. Yeah, two rockets. Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah, wh wh who cares when Jews have rockets shot at them, right? Because Israel is, is fighting a defensive right for its own national sovereignty. Mm. All Israel has done since 1967 is go backwards. All Israel has done. The UN sent an Asian diplomat, I forget his name exactly what it was, to go investigate crimes against humanity in Gaza. Israel did not allow him to enter Gaza because they said his visa wasn't valid. And that was published in an Israeli newspaper. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. If that's the case, then I'll, I'll say that you're correct. Um, but here's the question, though. So Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East right now. They're practicing democracy. Muslims, Jews, and Christians... Well, they, they, they can. Hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold, first of all, many Palestinians in Palestinian Authority that is in Zone B, not Zone A, can vote in elections. Secondly, secondly, here's the question. You want, so you want them to be able to vote both in PA elections and Israeli elections? Why hasn't the PA had an election in 12 years? Mahmoud Abbas is a dictator of the PA. 
that uses the money and the aid that we give him to enrich himself. Oh, Mahmoud Abbas, hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, hold on, but I thought he was democratically elected. So why don't you guys have students against the Palestinian Authority, not students mm. against Israel? The Palestinian Authority... The Palestinian Authority is like guns against Palestinian children. Oh, I, 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 well, the Palestinian Authority was democratically elected 12 years ago. Mahmoud Abbas has not had any checks and measures against him. In Nablus, he lives in a 25,000 square foot mansion. Here, here, here's the bottom line, is that Arabs are better served under Israeli government than under the Palestinian Authority government. Arabs are... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? When they're in the ground dead. That's where a majority of Palestinians end up. What are you, a majority of Palestinians end up dead? How dare you say something like that? There's, there's 15 and a half million people that live in the Palestinian Authority. Half of them end up dead? So you're, you're trying to tell me that seven and a half million Palestinians have been killed? Is that what you're trying to say? That's, I've never seen that number. Well, it's actually 15 and a half million is if you count the PA and Israel together. You're right, it's more like, it's more six million in Palestinian Authority nine and a half million in Israel proper. So it's about 15 combined. So six million, so you're trying to tell me three million people have been killed? Three million people have been killed by the IDF? That's not even close to being true. Yeah. So let me, let me ask, let me ask. There's a difference between Zionism and anti-Semitism. Then build, build out that, build that out for me. you don't support the state of Israel doesn't mean- So let me get this straight. You, you, you don't hate Jews, you just hate the Jews' right to exist in their homeland. What? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, that's wait, wait, wait. a. Th They're not black. Yeah, exactly. Like, so that, that's one of the worst identity <laughs> politics argument. You're Just because black. I'm not something, it doesn't make me wrong. No, no you're not. not. You don't have it's an apartheid argument. state of Israel. That's not. That's not in line with conservative politics. How's how so? Because there is no separation of church and state. The why? The why can? Let me ask you a question. Why can Christians freely practice their religion in Israel? But Jews can't freely practice their religion in the Palestinian Authority. How are Jews How are not practicing, practicing it? When you have what happens if an Israeli citizen goes into a Bethlehem? What, what happens if a Jew goes into Bethlehem? What what if a Muslim goes into Jerusalem, they can go to a mosque. That's what happens. Do you know what happens at Al-Aqsa? Do you know what happens? Al-Aqsa Mosque? People are turned yeah. away because they can't pray in their own place. Well, hold on a second. They have full access to Al-Aqsa Mosque. No, I was there myself. I was around 500 Muslims on the al Haska Mosque. Hold on a second. Jews' heads are cut off in Hebron if they go to Hebron. Jews and Israelis are not allowed in Palestinian authority. So I, I was in Hebron three weeks ago. You know what happened? If a Jew go, if, if a Jew goes to Hebron, their head will get cut off. Okay, so Jews are not allowed in the Temple Mount. You do know that, right? No, I'm saying Palestinians, Muslims going into Al-Aqsa. Right. So I. It's very hotly debated. No, actually, when no, I was is. there, I was praying at Al Aqsa, and I saw is IDF soldiers coming in while I was praying. Did they, they stop you? That. Did they stop you from praying? They they throw like tear grass. No, no, they don't. Not the Al Aqsa mark. Did they stop you from praying? I shouldn't be in fear while. But I they don't do what you, you say they're doing. I'm just telling you, it's not true. Let Did they? Finish. But I, I I don't think you're representing reality. I was literally there. So let me ask a question. I, 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 I was there, you, you should not be able to prove your religion. You should be able, if a Muslim... Okay, that's a really interesting point. So Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount. Because the Muslims don't allow them on the Temple Mount right now. So Jordanian control the Temple was, Mount. It was since the Prophet Muhammad, it was, it was, it was there since the Prophet Muhammad. Oh, okay, so do you think, here's the thing, so you think, do you think Jews should be allowed on the Temple Mount? It's, it's a... So you don't think it's a Temple Mount, because if you do, that's the very interesting thing. If you just say it's a Temple Mount, I, I'm putting you in a, admittedly, in a very difficult position because Muslims do not recognize it as the Temple Mount. Right, they recognize it as their place of worship and it's been that way since the beginning. N no, it's been the Temple Mount since King David, thank you very much. So, I mean, you could say whatever you wanted to say. I, it's a huge point. It's actually, like, it's one of the biggest inhibitions of peace. I think that Jews and Muslims and Christians should all be allowed to go to the Temple Mount. Right now, Muslims do not allow Jews to go into the Temple Mount. One rabbi is allowed to go in once a year. That's it. That's that. That's the treaty. Why is that? It's that how is that fair? Why are Jews not allowed to go? But it's. I, I, I mean, Muslims are allowed to go to their holy sites. You, you just said you were allowed to go. Okay, but so people it doesn't mean that other people aren't allowed to go. I, I, and if, if that's the case, then I'll totally denounce it. But you you are a living example that you were allowed to go. <laughs> okay, this was uh, very interesting. To what? I think I'm actually to react to this video before, but it was a short clip. This is a full clip. Uh, I'm quite full because it's not f the entire lens, 
But you guys were requesting for a full clip. This is the best I can get. But so far, so good. Um, this Israel and Palestine war and Hamas, Jews are not allowed to go pray in, in their own side. And Palestine Muslim are not allowed to go pray in some, some other side. Um, the truth be told, I've never been there before. So <laughs> I barely have anything to say about this. But coming out from Charlie's point of view, Charlie have been there. And also the, the students right there have also been there. So far, I feel like the students is actually hiding some certain things to say. Because if she was praying and she was not interrupted, that means they don't actually stop you from praying or from your faith. They don't stop you from praying. Why? They don't um, throw chair gas at you. They don't call you out to come out while you are praying. They don't interrupt your prayers. That is That itself is respect. They are respecting your own religion. Um, number two, I love how Charlie handled this, um, irrespective of different um, Hamas sympathizers that came out to, to be voicing their opinion. Charlie was also coordinated and he was telling them facts according to how he, what he experienced, why he, he was in Israel and also why he was in Gaza. He was just clearing it out for them to understand. This was interesting. Um, a student right there was like, you're not a Jew, how, how, why are you defending it? You don't have to be a Jew. To defend the truth i'm not a jew i'm a christian but when i see the facts when i see the truth i will spill it out that this is the truth this is what what is actually happening so um that itself is basically bad for that student to say because you don't have to be a jew for you to um know the truth just like you saying um abortion is bad yeah i, I know abortion is bad i don't have to get pregnant before i will start stating the fact that abortion is bad i know abortion is bad you understand so um, I love the entire debate, uh, respectfully, I love it. Um, but Charlie itself sees some, there are some other points as funny because they were not clear with it. And number two, some of them right there have not traveled to Gaza, have not also traveled to Israel. Um, Charlie have been there. And also that college student who said she had been there, but she's not trying to take the full fat out. Why I knew she was not setting out the full facts was when she was talking about the prayer aspect. She was actually stumbling. When someone is stumbling, it means they are not spilling out the full truth. Maybe she's hiding something. But uh, I love her opinion. I feel like she, she experienced some certain things she felt like should not occur. Israel and Palestine is like <laughs> Jews and Arab living together. There will surely be clashes. You understand? There will surely be clashes about because they don't believe in the same faith when two sides comes two religion come they don't believe in the same faith there's always war or kind of like chaos but i've never been there but by the facts of what charlie is saying I, I go with charlie because charlie have been there and experienced it as someone who travel a lot um charlie is trying to tell them that also the jews are not being treated right the way um the arab the muslim are not being treated right it's, it's like both parties both sides are not being treated right and the temple she's calling that it have been there for a long time was actually founded or created by David. David in the Bible. Like that was a long time. This was amazing to watch, guys. Comment down below, talk about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can, subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all